Yes, we are on a flight. To our flight. Hopefully, we get uh, to the location we're going for. Unknown to me where we're going. But there's one person on the flight that's not concerned. Mr. Greg Gilbertson, there's no worries. He settled in for the flight and he's uh, prepared for whatever happens. Congratulations, Greg. You win the uh, best handler of flights week. Yeah, it's uh, half an hour later. Greg's still sleeping. Crash. We're on our plane flight. Here we are. Private jet. I don't wait in who knows where. Only one person on the flight. My concern. Very good. Well done. Six hours later, still in his coma state, crashed. Oh, I see movement. We saw movement there. Six hours after the first video, there he is. Passed out, enjoying the flight like the no worries in the world. Very impressive. Congratulations. Never seen anything like it. Halfway to China now, I think. I can see the ocean. Okay, still sleeping. He's in some kind of coma state. Not quite sure no one can wake him up. We tried several times. Uh, we, have, we, we have other people that have now uh, fallen into that same state. Look, we have a. It's contagious. We maybe have eight, nine hours before we land somewhere in mainland China, Indonesia, somewhere like that. Wish us luck. Keep you updated. It's been almost 30 hours now. Everybody in now is asleep, including the pilots somewhere over the Pacific or the Atlantic, maybe the Mediterranean, somewhere in one of those oceans. I saw some mountains a few hours ago. I don't know how much time we have left before the fuel runs out. I seem to be the only one concerned about it. We're running low on oxygen now. We have Greg, still passed out. I think it's almost 40 hours now. Ron, he's been out for about 20 hours. Not good. Um, he's not doing too well. Seems like both the pilots are now out again. They were out, we're back out. They put the beer down for a little bit. Yeah, the snake seems is not waking up. This is birthday. Not much time though, I think we're running out of fuel. We maybe got an hour or two left. Hopefully we can make it to somewhere in Japan, Russia, that area. We'll be okay. okay. This is possibly my last video entry. Flying in about five, six feet above uh, sea level. Trying to save fuel. Maybe got a maybe one or two gallons left. We're coming in. Fumes. You can see it's getting shaky. I think we'll be okay. Whoa, whoa. I think we just hit some water, but we're just kind of kind of like a rock on the water. We're just kind of skimming across. 
getting kind of crazy. Well, oh, it's getting shaky. I think we'll be all right. Greg's still passed out. I think we're on our 50, 50 second hour in the flight. Should be landing one soon, doing a water landing. I understand the seats will also be buoyant for us. Greg did come awake for just a few seconds, just before splash down here. Then we tried to tell him what was going on, and then he wrapped himself up with a blanket. Nothing we can do for him. He's totally consoled himself with his fate. I wish I could take it so well. What an honorable man. What a great man. Look at that. No worries in the world. Sleeping like a baby. Plane's about ready to go down. He did wake up at the mention of supper. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. We did mention supper. He did wake up for a little bit, but then he found out there was no supper. Then he slipped back into his coma, like uh, sleep. What a man. He's living on his fat stores. There's no, there's no one braver than that creature of the night right there. Look at him. I only slept it's for like a few minutes. For it's like a tamed lion. How do you unleash a tiger like that? hours into our flight, somewhere over uh, North Pole, maybe the Antarctica, not sure, don't have any real way of knowing, we still got Greg here, comatose, can't wake him up, this may be my last feeding entry, seems like we're down on our last uh, 100, 200 gallons of gasoline. Like the fuel prices have gone down, thankfully. I just want to say, you know, I love you. My wife, Lisa. My children. Yeah. Why I stepped out of gravy. For the best I can. These few hours left. It's getting cold now. We're running out of uh, warm air. <laughs> I'll try to do one or two more video entries before it's all over. I think we should land somewhere in the uh, Mediterranean, Baltic Sea, something like that. It's gonna get ugly. Be looking for flight number two, four, eight, one, six, dash, seven, eight, two, comma, one, exclamation point six. like we are just fine and about ready to land somewhere in South Dakota is our best guess. Yeah. Looks like Greg woke up out of his coma. Right. Seems to be okay. Just searching for a candy bar right now. Sunglasses up there? Double sunglasses? He's, he's, he's like a bear looking, looking for a basket of candy bars. <laughs> Look at him right now. I'm the prey. He's the bear. I am holding back. Uh, looking for a snicker. Just one snicker. I know, but I've been sleeping. <laughs> right. Greg jumped on me. Dig a little deeper. 
I think I'll find a snicker. What's in that big and basket? What's in that big and basket? Looking for that big and basket? That's right. Can't wait. Oh, the, I found it. I found the picnic basket. <laughs> oh, the bear is angry. The bear is angry. Look at this photograph. Every time I do, it makes me laugh. How oh, did our eyes get so red? And what the hell is on Joey said? And this is where I grew up. I think the prison owner fixed it up. I never knew he ever went without. The second floor is like the sneaking up. And this is where I went to school. Most of the time, I had better things to do. Criminal record says I broke him twice. I must have done it half a dozen times. I wonder if it's too late Should I go back and try to graduate? Life's better now than it was back then If I was them, I wouldn't let me Someday we 